So recently in the marketing for UFC 277, I've heard a lot of talk saying that Amanda Nunes is the GOAT of women's MMA. This really confuses me. I remember just a year ago hearing a lot of debate as to who truly is the greatest female mixed martial artist of all time, and honestly, at the time, Amanda Nunes was my horse in that race. I thought her two wins over Valentina Shevchenko plus being a double champ made it undeniable. Now, I must mention, I was fully aware that a lot of people didn't think Amanda had won those fights, but I set that aside and also looked at the historical wins over Ronda Rousey and Chris Cyborg and Holly Holm, as well as that Amanda officially beat Valentina two times. Ronda Rousey, might I add, will be seen as the best in a surprising amount of people's eyes to you hardcore fans. What she did for women's MMA and the sport in general makes her such a legend, and I think she does deserve a lot of respect for that. Her popularity is the main reason I would attribute her to be the greatest in so many people's eyes, but if you know things about the sport, you're not going to think that. She gave women a voice in a time when Dana White had said they have no future in the sport. Amanda Nunes, interestingly, I almost feel is assuming that role as the goat of the casuals, for lack of a better term. Not to say she isn't, but people don't give Valentina the credit that she deserves, simply because she doesn't have those viral knockouts that Amanda does. I over like popular names, too. Like I said, I even thought Amanda was the goat, and I was fairly educated. However, looking back, my opinion has changed. Valentina won the title by beating the strawweight goat, Joanna Jonjacek, and that fight wasn't disputable. Joanna Champion is no scrub either, might I add. But not only that, Valentina has defended her belt more than Amanda has defended either of hers, and the way Amanda lost. I think she lost in an embarrassing way for someone claiming to be the greatest of all time. For example, Valentina recently fought Talia Santos. I had Talia winning that fight by the end of it, but it was so close, I couldn't be mad at the decision. But Amanda, she gave up. She was looking for a way out because she couldn't handle what Juliana Pena was coming at her with. Juliana knew she could break Amanda. Arguing Nunes to be the GOAT at this point feels like claiming Conor McGregor is the GOAT for being the first champ champ and getting quick KOs in title fights. When you have Valentina, who is more comparable to GSP, who is widely accepted to be the men's GOAT, all Amanda needed to be defeated is someone who wouldn't give up after Amanda threw all she had at them. Not to mention how 145 is a dying division for the women. Those girls barely get to compete and test themselves. The division is really only there for Amanda at this point, and, you know, the fights that she's had with top contenders like Megan Anderson kind of just shows that. And it takes us to my final and main point. Valentina hasn't lost her belt yet. Ultimately, right now, I think there are two women battling for the GOAT status. And Amanda losing her 135 belt, in my opinion, is the deciding factor as to why she is no longer my women's GOAT. For now, at least. If you have any opinions on the matter, I'd like to hear them down in the comments. With that being said, subscribe and have a lovely day.